Hey everybody, hope everything's going well. Sorry I don't sound like I'm quite awake, which I'm not. I'm just getting up and just want to hammer this one out as promised. I'm trying to keep some promises on the tubes here. What I have open is uh, Draw Plus from Seraph, their starter edition, which is basically a trial type thing, except for this one never expires, but as you can tell, and we'll, as we go through the software, there's going to be some functionality that's been disabled because they want you to buy the full program. I got kind of mixed feelings on this approach when you're when you're giving something out to the public like this, especially if you want them to buy your software. Especially for some of the stuff that I do, some of these tools come in very handy. So if you're just looking for you know something that's just kicking your game up a little bit and you don't mind some of the limitations and cool otherwise people like me who deal with the software pretty much daily and you need some of these functionality it would be nice to test it before you buy it and that's the only thing I got to say Seraph is it would be nice if you can come out with some way of making like a trial edition that will work for so many days and then go ahead and see if people would like to buy it or bring it down to an edition like this where you can just use it with very limited functionality. That's just an opinion. Now, this program here, the reason why I'm looking into it, folks, is because my wife is wanting to start to do some things with the Cameo Cutter, and, and as I already kind of complained about Belly 8, however you want to say it, about their um, software that they come with the Cameo Cutter, uh, Silhouette Studio, it is limited. So I uh, got this because Corel Draw is way too advanced for what she needs, but she still likes to do some pretty cool designs, and that's why I was looking into this. So let's go ahead and just kind of fool around here real quick. And, you know, the Shapes tool, I do kind of like that, and I kind of like how they put the dimensions on here. Right here you can change the corners. I do like that. Now the one thing I would like to see, and there might be a way to do it, I just haven't figured it out yet, is to only do like one corner at a time. I'm holding down on my modifier keys right now to see if I can get them to do it. Looks like it's all or nothing, which that's the one thing I kind of don't like, but I do like how it is interactive on screen. But you do have all sorts of different ways of coloring in the object. You got color wheels, color boxes, sliders. So, you know, whatever color space you would like to work in, it, it is pretty uh, self explanatory here. Swatches, you can do document swatches. On the newer versions, you can actually bring in a photograph, get a color palette, and design with that, which is I think is very nice different transparencies and you can do different transparencies through the tool and then you can do different things with lines now the one thing that which is kind of weird one of their other pieces of software called craft artist 2 does this one doesn't do and I think that Serif this will be a great thing for you to add for the graphic designers is the offset feature for that line basically what that does is it's kind of like the offset feature in Illustrator where it can take the actual stroke and you can either move it in or out without having to draw another stroke and then delete the original and everything else that would be a feature Serif that if you put in here awesome but you get you know a decent set of starting brushes here and of course there are ways to make your own you're very limited on your effects. See, we can kind of hover over these and it's changing the interior of that. But when you get the full program, you'll be able to change that. And I'll tell you uh, why that is, is because over here, if you look at the effects button, it's in red. Along with this button, the blend tool, the envelope perspective and roughing tools, the instant 3D tool. Some of these tools up here are Read out so a lot of the tools are kind of blocked out and that's you know near here or there but again I use an enveloping 
pretty hard and heavy so that's one thing and the effects tools which from what I understand kinda of look like illustrators effects tools uh, that you'd use in the layer palette I can't test those out again because I'm blocked from them I cannot also add pages you're only kinda of limited to one page here if I bring this up you try to add pages where is it insert pages see it does that and anytime you click on one of these red things in the starter edition you get a plug here it comes for version 6 now I probably it's probably hard coded in here but another thing Seraph if you would please do so maybe base this on a little bit older version but still you know disable it however you want but put a different plug in here please because you know I did like some, well, some of this thing works and I'll demonstrate it in just a second but come on now you know six and y'all are at eight that's a little iffy excuse me now back to the demo here we can get this we can move this up you can either grab it here to move it or you can grab the actual object here I mean there are some pretty neat things that you can do you can add like a stroke to the line like this so I mean there's a lot of neat little things you could do but the thing I am impressed about let me grab this tool here the paintbrush tool so I can get a stroke let's grab a brush here oh fire is how quickly this draws my computer is not the fastest on earth it doesn't have the biggest graphics card none of it but that drew in here pretty smoothly and the cool thing is that these are vector lines so that's kind of like the artistic media tool in Corel draw we can take that node and we can shape this and and that will follow that that line which I think is really nice so that's another plus I like about it let's go ahead and delete some of these objects here now adding in a picture is pretty simple let's see here let's see if I go up to the desktop here and maybe find something GTO judge this is a project I'm working on personal one <clears throat> okay notice that you cannot use the photo lab which is like a little mini color correction you know manipulation of images type thing just think of it as like a very minimalized Corel photo paint can't use it can't use the cutout studio and you can't use auto trace auto trace is the same thing as power trace and Corel draw for example I can't test these features and I know I use things like cutout studios and auto tracing for definite I can manually trace it yeah but again pain in the butt so Seraph please think about you know that a little bit would you and and if you want people to take the bait and, and buy the software from you it's not horribly expensive as software goes but still you're be honest in the states there's not a lot of following that I know of and I do apologize for my ignorance here if you're wanting to get more people to to get interested in your software you might want to figure maybe something else out <clears throat> now I will say that I am thinking about getting this but for a starter edition of software it's not the most what am I trying to get at here it's not the the least feature packed it's not the most feature packed it's kinda in between but they do allow you to do some pretty neat things like for example I'll stretch this out a little bit we'll make this thing into a picture frame here into that thing object I drew earlier there we go and we'll set it down in there bring this to the back here okay there we are I'll select that hit shift hit that and we're going to hold down on that and crop to the top object there we go so now we got a little picture frame so they there we go I mean you could do some stuff like that <clears throat> you can select the objects or you can crop you know do what you need to do you can uncrop you can got you got your properties up here you got some picture controls but not a lot so folks for a starter edition it's not bad a lot of it is intuitive on how to use it now the one thing let me see if it's in this one it probably isn't yet yeah, it is 
the contour tool here this is one thing I will say um, Serif is I like to see that more interactive I I personally like the inter interactive contours along with the manual control but this tool does work and it does work very nicely it does get the job done where some tools some programs actually do not have this you gotta kinda run an outline and sometimes an outline and a contour do not work the same so kudos for that so yeah like I said folks this is a very basic little rundown a quick little rundown of my thoughts on it again I I don't have nothing against Serif I just would like to see their their demos that the public can see before buying actually be fully functional for a limited time kinda like Corel does and Adobe used to do I think Adobe still does before you buy because even I think this one last time I looked it up was about a hundred and twenty dollars for the full program which like I said ain't bad for a graphics program but again when you're on a limited budget and you're trying to get moving if you want to step it up from the free software on up to something a little bit <clears throat> different where you can maybe get some different palettes and stuff like that like for example if you're starting to work with Pantones this program does support Pantones it's kind of hard for people to take that plunge and not see if everything's going to work. I know you offer money back guarantee, but again, eh, some people abide by it, some people don't. So that's just my opinions. And folks, if I do bite the bullet and and get this, I'll let you know, and I'll even do some demos on it. They have some demos up, but maybe I could do some more creative ones about this program. Alright folks, I'm going to get off of there, so I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do for the next one here, folks. I'm going to be probably busy for the next while. It seems like everybody's wanting my time right now, so it may be sporadic at best, or another early morning one like this, so I apologize if I sound like I'm asleep and whatnot, but I haven't gotten that morning Joe down me, and because of it, I am not awake. So folks, there we go. This is just kind of my points and views of the Serif Plus Starter Edition. And if you did buy the program, let me know what you think of it. And as always, I appreciate you, appreciate the few of you that you know subscribe to me. And yeah, I hit, do hit and miss, but I do what I feel interests me, and it's more like my my video diary, I guess. <clears throat> and I'm hoping that. I'm going to be helping not only some of you folks and everything else, but also helping my wife out as well. She's trying to ease into how to use some of these programs for her use with some of the crafting ideas that she has. Alright folks, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.